Inshallah, we'll start in a minute. Um, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam, ala ashraf al-anbiya wa al-mursalin, Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, ma ba'd, fa inna ahsan al-hadith kitabu Allah wa khayru al-hadhi hadhi Sayyidina Muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ama ba'd. My dear respect brothers and sisters, please do me a favor, jazakum Allah khair, as we start the talk, we want to make sure many people benefit from this, bin Allah ta'ala, please. Uh, so as much as you can, please share and like the link. Uh, so more, more people will be benefiting from this because whatever we do this, we do this for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our, our ultimate goal is for people to be benefiting from this. By the minimum, the thing this is not going to cost you any money. Just please like, share, and subscribe with the Allah ta'ala so many people will be able to 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 to, to gain the benefit with the Allah ta'ala. So my dear respect brothers, today we're going to be talking about an, an, a, a continuation of last week. We're going to be continuing to talk about what are some of the things that, you know, that an individual can do and would make his heart diseased, his spiritual heart diseased, or would make his heart uh, hard, you know? Um, so the question here, we, 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 so we're gonna inshallah jump into the subject, so all, all of us are gonna be in the same page. We said last week, the very first thing that someone would do to, to that would affect his heart and make it make his heart not uh, not perceptible to the, to the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because many people nowadays, like we said, we always say, many people complain, how come when we read the Quran, you know, our heart is not is not awakened? How come when we when we um uh, uh when we when we are do, during the prayer, we don't have the tranquility that we tend to think that we should do? So with this being said, my dear respect, this is important. We have this is this is pertinent stuff. This is stuff that we have to we have to know as Muslims. And uh, yeah, and, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also guide the non-Muslims too for them to be ha to have an awakened heart, a heart that is that is alive, a live heart. So we said the very first thing is eating too much. You know, when someone eats too much, that's gonna make his make make his life more uh, make him a lazy individual. When someone, for instance, second thing we talked about, when someone sleep too much, again, it's gonna make him a lazy individual, not productive individual, someone that is not that is not does not know his uh, the reason why he exists is the one that he, who who lives like a like 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 a you know like an animal you know in which the, the only thing he think about is his sensations and his his desires sleep eat and etc. That's not the thing the thing. But today we're going to be talking about number three, and this is something my dear respect brothers sisters, many people are in fault of, which is things that would make our hard our heart very hard is when someone talks too much. Again, a lot, a lot of times people say, well, you know, it's, uh, uh, and sometimes they make fun of it. Oh, he, this guy or this, or this girl, she talks too much, you know. Is, is that okay? Yeah, subhanAllah, al-Bishr ibn Harith, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him, what he said, القلب, there's two things that if an individual would do, it would make his heart very tough, you know. He said, كَثْرَةُ الْكَلَامِ وَكَثْرَةُ الْأَكْلِ He said, when someone talks too much, you know, it makes his heart very, very, you know, very tough, you know. And when, when, when who, the individual who eats a lot, it would make his heart very tough. Why, why, why that's an issue? We'll get to that. We're not going to, we're not going to just say, oh, just talking too much is going to affect your heart. No, we, we, we're going to address, we're going to talk about what, what's the reason behind all of this, you know. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said so, 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 said so. He said, وَإِنَّ أَبْغَضَكُمْ إِلَيَّ وَأَبْعَدُكُمْ مِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أسواقكم أخلاقا أثر أثرثارون. and he said, he said the the people in the hereafter who are very far away from me who are whom the people who have who have no morals and the people who talk too much talk too much so the, the, and many people would say you know how, how come this is this is a problem when we talk too much when someone you know, as as Imam Al Manawi has said he 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 said that uh, a comment on the people who talk too much he said. كثرة الكلام تولد عن تولد عن أمرين. يعني like when someone talks too much, he have one of two issues. He have one of two issues. Is the one who who wants to be a leader, and he is not befitting of that position, and he want to talk so much so he can show people his knowledge, or the people the the person the person who is have no knowledge, and he talks too much so people would recognize that he that he have knowledge. And also, yeah, this is this is reality, my dear respect brothers and sisters. When someone talks too much, there is more chance of him committing more mistakes with his tongue. 
Yeah, subhanAllah, when someone talks too much, talks too much, he have he is perceptible to making lies. He's perceptible to make fun of other people. He, he's perceptible to 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 mock at other people. He's, he's perceptible to spread rumors about other people. He's perceptible to be, to backbite against other individuals and etc. So so this is so when someone talks too much, it's 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 by nature. You know, someone when someone talks too much, he's most likely he's going to it, can make more mistakes and etc. You know, so so this is so this this is this is something extremely important. Yeah, yani, um Hassan Basri, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him. He has very beautiful words. And please, please, my dear speaker, yani, pay attention to these words. He said, كانوا يقولون أن لسان المؤمن لسان المؤمن وراء قلبه. That يعني the tongue of a believer, the believer, where is his tongue? He like he he's 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 drawing a picture to us. He's trying. Hassan uh, Basri, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him. He's drawing a picture to us. يعني spiritually speaking, where is the tongue of a believer? He said the tongue of the believer it is behind his heart. You know, وراء قلبه. فإذا أراد أن يتكلم بشيء تدبره بقلبه ثم أمضه باللسان. He said, he said oh, the, 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 the tongue of a believer, his tongue is behind his heart. Before he talks, his heart think about what he had to say, and then if it's okay, he would he would he would release these words. But if it's not okay, he would keep it and etc. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, yani they used to describe him. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when people used to describe Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they said they used to say that we used to count the words. Yani if you if you had the chance to co- to to count the number of words that are coming out of the no- mouth of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you'll be able to do so. Why? Because he used to talk slowly. And he what he used to do, he used to, he used to he used to talk little by little, you know. And watch that shows that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not he, he, for most of the time he is, he used to be silent. He used to listen to individuals and etc. And, and 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 one of the said one of the signs of the individual who is knowledgeable, they said the person who is he's silent a lot because he thinks he he before he talks he thinks what he's going to talk it's not like you know a radio and he just releases words no they think about what they what they have to say and then they release again the and that a moment a true believer he have to watch what comes out of his mouth because chances are he might commit a mistake without without him even realizing also number four what are some some of the things that if, if an individual would do would make his heart tough would make his heart his his heart very hard he said when you mix with too many people when you mix with too many people how is that you know so, so my dear respect for sisters yani when someone mix with many people his life become a life a life of just enjoyment uh, a life of just trying to visitation a life of 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 not having dedicated time between him and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I mean, I imagine, imagine. Yeah, let me give you an example so you get so you guys get the picture. Imagine if, if I have two friends versus if I have a hundred friends. You know, if I have two friends, maybe I have to visit one or two. You know, if they have occasions, if they have uh, ceremonies or etc., I have to do. But if I have a hundred, I have to. I have to make a, a schedule for, for, for the others, you know. So the more you, you mix with people, the more likely you're busy, your, your, your schedule is going to be busy, and you have you have less dedicated time for yourself, for your family, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and etc. And, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, he described people in the hereafter, in the, in the, in the day of judgment, what do they say when they, when they are regretful? They regret what they have done. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَيَوْمَ يَعُضُّ الظَّالِمُ عَلَى يَدَيْهِ يَقُولُ يَا لَيْتَنِ اتَّخَذْتُ مَعَ الرَّسُولِ سَبِيلًا يَا وَيْلَتَا لَيْتَنِي لَمْ أَتَّخِذْ فُلَانًا خَلِيلًا لَقَدْ أَضَلَّنِي عَنِ الذِّكْرِ بَعْدَ إِذْ جَاءَنِي The kafir or the, the transgressor, he would bite in his hand. He would say, oh, I wish... I followed the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I wish that I did not used to be a friend of whom of so and so because he had misguided me. So the thing is, my dear respect for sisters, the more you mix with people, the more the less the more likely you're gonna be you're gonna go astray and have less dedicated time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the most likely what happened, your heart is gonna be tough and hard. You know, uh, يعني, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also described the people in the hereafter. He said, Al Akhilla Ubadhum li Badin Adu. 
إلا المتقين الأخلاء يومئذ بعضهم لبعض عدو إلا المتقين the, 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 the friends the majority of the time they're going to be enemies of each other except to whom the righteous people except the righteous people so my dearest back was yani when someone say wallahi i'm going to mix this does not affect me you know this does, does not bother me yes i have many friends and it's not i'm not being bothered by this they're liars they're lying to themselves in in the midst of in the midst of the environment that we live in where there is so much evil and there is so much corruption and there is so much so many nasty things that are creeping into the morals of the people and people say wallahi i'm going to mix with this individual and this one i'm going to mix with that individual it's not, not going to affect me that's going to affect you but you're lying to you know technically you are lying to, to yourself yeah and subhanallah this is this is reality prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said al mar'u ala dini khalili that that the individual is in the religion of his own friends so if your religion if your friend is good then you, then you're going to be good you know don't say wallahi i'm a friend of this this corrupt individual this evil individual and he does not affect me you're lying to yourself يعني مالك بن دينار بي الله سبحانه وتعالى بيبليز ذا هو اللي سيد قال اسد لا يتفق اثنان في في عشرة الا وفي احدهما وصف من الاخر اذا like no two two people come together to become friends except there are some sort of characteristics that make them join make them like each other make them be friending each other so don't lie don't lie to yourself if you are if if you are if you, your friend is a crooked you're going to be a crooked like them that's why when we when we be friend individuals we want to pick, pick, pick the best out of them you know i want to be a, a friend of a muslim who is good you know i'm going to be a friend of people somebody who's right who's going to take my hand into the right path don't say i'm going to be a a a a, 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 a friend of somebody who's crooked who something wrong with their aqidah there is you know he he lies and he cheats and he he go out to party in 24 hours it's not going it's not going to work no matter how much you try to make it beautiful it's not going to work so that's why you know a lot of times you want to pick people who are better than you yes big individuals who are better than you to be friends so once you you you're their friends what happen you learn and you become better individuals gradually without you noticing it you know also number five what some of the things that if someone would do if someone would do would make his heart tough you know when someone my dear respect brothers and sisters you know who who violates the oath of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may have made certain things halal and haram when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have made certain things halal and haram allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them made them halal and haram for a reason and when you know something is haram you know something is haram and then and then and then you intentionally trying to violate it over and over if that is going to affect you yeah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fabima naqdihim mithaqahum la'annahum waj'alna qulubahum qasiyah he said he said don't because of the fact that they have violated the oath that had existed between us and, her, and them what happened we have made their heart stuff you know we have made their humble uh, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give many examples in the Quran. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ عَاهَدَ اللَّهِ لَإِنْ آتَانَا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ لَنَا الصَّدَّقًا وَلَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ Some people have said, oh, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me this and this, you know, wallahi, I'm going to be, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be a, a better individual. But, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَلَمَّا آتَاهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ يعني, After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have given them what they, what they wished for, you know, they 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 disregarded what they were given and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have thrown, made hypocrisy into their hearts. How many times, my dear respect, my sisters, that يعني, something bad happened to you, a, a sickness, a poverty, you need something, you need to pass an exam, you need you need to get married, you need all sorts of things that we need. But we say, Ya Rabbi, if you do this to me, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be a better individual. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give it to you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give it to you. But what happened? Did you fulfill the promise that you have made toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or you went backwards. So that's why when you when you make an oath with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fulfill it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would elevate you even further. But when you when you violate the, 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 the oath that you have done, done with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will had will what make your heart very tough. Again, my dear respect, one of the things, number number six, some of the things that would make our heart very, very, very hard, very tough. Is that when we know certain things that are halal and haram, and what happened? We 
And even though we know that it's, that it's halal and haram, and we, we might even teach people this is halal and haram, we do the opposite ourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, أَفَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرُّ وَتَنْسَوْنَا وَنْفُسَكُمْ وَأَنْتُمْ تَكْلَقِكِتَابِ أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ Do you ask the people to do what is wrong? What, what is right and wrong? And you do, you do the opposite? So, I don't want people to misunderstand me. That does not mean that if you are, if you're not allowed to, to, to advise people if you're doing something wrong. No, no, no. And the majority of the scholars said that you're allowed to advise people as long as you are sincere in your advice. But also, you want to be, you want to push yourself to be up to the advice that you are giving, give, giving the people. But don't be like a hypocrite. That's the issue here. Don't be a hypocrite in which that you advise people to do something wrong. To do, not to do something wrong, and then you're exactly doing the same thing. This is this is the issue here, you know. In which in, in which the, you know, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "مثل الذي يعلم الناس الخير وينسى نفسه كمثل كمثل استراج يضيء الناس ويحرق نفسه." He said, "The example of an individual who advises the people to do what is right, and he forget about himself, it is the example of what, of 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 someone who's shown the people light through a candle." And yet, he's burning himself. You know, you are showing people light through this candle. But what happened? You're, you're like, you know, you're touching the light and you're burning yourself. It does not, it, it, it does not work that way. You know, the, 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 the candle shows the light to people. But what happened? It's burning itself. So that, so with that being said, my dear respect, we have, to, we have to be up to that. And yes, advise people, yes, but also between you and yourself. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking at you and you know him that he's the only one Watching you is that you to, to live to live up to those advices, to be like to be the, that best individual that you want to be, and etc. So this is very very important, ya, ya akhwan. Ya, and Allah subhanahu wa taala have de have described some people in the hellfire, in the hereafter. He said, "Yujaa bil rajul yawm al qiyam fiyulqa bil nar, fadat 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 luqa yani aqtaba." That yani you see people who they're in the hell in the hellfire. They're running around the hellfire with their in, 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 with their intestines in their hand, and their open their stomach is open. Why? Because he, they said I used to, to advise the people, and I used to do, do what I used to do the opposite. So this is very important, my dear respectful sisters. Yani, yani Allah Subhanahu wa Taala he 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 tell he tell the believers. لما تقولون ما لا تفعلون كبر مقتا عند الله أن تقولوا ما لا تفعلون. Yes, why you, why you people you advise people you tell people what is wrong and you do the opposite. Live up to what you say, you know, because again that shows there is some sort of measure of hypocrisy that existed to your heart and that's something that you don't want to do. Next one number 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 seven when some كثرة الذنوب when someone commits so many sins and he is careless. You know, he's he he he, he does not care. He I mean, he do, does everything. Oh, lie, cheat, eat the haram, whatever. He says he does not care. And these these things piling up, eventually, is going to affect your heart. You know, at the end of the day, your spiritual heart is an organ. As Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Al ismu hawaz al qulub." Yeah, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that sins they affect the heart. Sins affect the heart. وَمَا مِن نَظْرَةٍ إِلَّا وَلِلشَّيْطَانِ فِيهَا مَطْمَعٍ يعني وَمَا مِن نَظْرَةٍ إِلَّا وَلِلشَّيْطَانِ وَلِلشَّيْطَانِ فِيهَا مَطْمَعٍ that, that, that you, every time you, you look out in places that you're not supposed to be looking at, the, sh the shaitan is making you do the, so because it's going to affect you. So therefore, don't say, yeah, yeah, yeah. When someone can, even, even looking, look, not lowering your gaze, is going to affect you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to harm you. So therefore, we have to be we have to be cautious, my dear respect brothers and sisters. You know, um, unfortunately, so this is this is, so number seven. We said when someone commit too many sins, eventually it's going to affect his heart, and it's going it's going it's going it's going to make his heart tough, and and well, he would have a hard heart. Okay, number eight, my dear respect brothers and sisters, and this is something a lot of times nowadays people take it lightly and they don't care. You know, it's it's the issue of laughing a lot. Okay, now Islam, just to make sure, Islam is not against an individual having fun. Islam is not against someone having fun and laughing. Here we're talking about when someone laughs a lot. Prophet ﷺ said, yani, when he was advising one time Abu Hurairah, he said, وَلَا تُكْثِرُ الضَّحِكِ فَإِنَّ كَثْرَةِ الضَّحِكِ 
to me to the قلب. He said, don't laugh a lot. He, he even told them, don't laugh a lot. يعني, it's okay to laugh. It's okay to have fun. But when you, when you, all, all your laugh is about, you know, when you, when you laugh a lot, a lot, what happened? It's going to make your heart, your heart die. And, and this is important yeah, for, because at that, at that, at that time, to, to everything become to you like a joke. Oh, yeah, I mean, prayer is a joke. Let's make fun of this. Because now, unfortunately, and we, we see this nowadays. Yeah, and people now pranking other people for all sort of things. And now we, people becoming famous because of this. Pranking people this, you know, and making fun of that. And let's, you know, and let's try this situation versus versus that situation and etc. People are now dying for to, to have pranks on other people. Subhanallah. This is this this is this is this is this is the sickness of this. In which people to them, everything become like a fun. Everything become 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 a joke, and they, be, they become laughing and joking on other people. Subhanallah. This is not the intent, my dear brothers. Prophet Muhammad said, "Wa iyaka wa kathra al dhahik." Yani, beware. Be, make sure that you don't laugh a lot, because what happened again? To, laughing too much would make your heart die. You know. Yani, Subhanallah. Yani. I, I, Again, and yeah, here, here we're talking about my dear respect, brothers and sisters. Yeah, and when someone makes turns everything into a joke, turns everything to a joke, you know, and and then their life become ridiculous. You know, there are sometimes, sometimes yes, sometimes there are spaces for fun, yes, and there is also spaces for seriousness. You know, yeah, and, um, yeah, and as as some of the scholars they said, they said. Then what are some of the parameters? Uh, okay, I want to know w- where are the my guidelines for me to laugh or not to laugh. Okay, let me, let's go through through four four guidelines. Okay, the four guidelines for when you when it's okay to say it's to laugh or not to laugh. He, they said number one is that do not lie. Do not lie. Yeah, if you want to have fun, yes, have fun, but don't lie. Prophet Muhammad said, "Wail lilladi yukhibu fayudhik al nasa." He said, woe for, for, for an individual who lies so he can make people laugh. So he can make people what? Laugh. So this is this is number number one. Don't if you want to have fun, yes, have fun, but don't lie. Don't lie. And, and a Prophet he said, Woe to him. He's, 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 he's showing you how severe it is. Don't 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 lie, don't lie. And now people making up all these stories to work at people and, and the shows and 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 and, uh, and 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 they're going in front of people to, 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 to make fun of other people and they're lying. That's not acceptable at all. That's not acceptable. So number one, don't lie. Second thing is don't make your speech making fun of other people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لا من قوم عسى أن يكون خيرا منهم ولا نساء من نساء عسى أن يكون خيرا منهم. Like, don't make fun of other people, you know, and wish that you would you would you would mock them and make fun of them. And nowadays, subhanallah, it becomes even an issue of making fun of other races and etc. Like, yeah, subhanallah, many people sometimes and they're not innocent from this. We can't. This is yeah, this is this is wrong. You have even if you some of us do it, that's absolutely wrong. Making fun of this race against other race, yes, it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong and it's haram, you know. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "بحسب امرئ من شر أن يحقر أخاه المسلم." He said, "He said, he said it, is, it is, it is, it's an evil when someone belittle or mock his other, his Muslim brother." And this applies to other other people too, not necessarily Muslims, you know. So number two, don't mock at other people. Three, um, uh, don't try to scare people. Don't scare people, and this is again, it is haram. For someone to scare people, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, لا يحل لرجل أن يورع مسلما. Don't no, it's not permissible for an, an, a Muslim to what? So he would scare his Muslim brother. Don't don't make a prank that you would hide behind something and then you scare him, or 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 or, or you would wear a custom a, a custom to scare him. That's that's absolutely haram because I mean this is for obvious reasons. People could die from this, and people have died because of this. Well, people could could have a shock or or some sort of some sort of, they could have anxiety, and people could have you know, post traumatic st- stresses before, because of this, you know. And people have died sudden heart uh, heart, heart, heart heart problems in which their their heart would stop. Yes, it, it happened. So th- there is no point for it for you to go through this in which that you would scare people to have to 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 make fun of them. It's not acceptable. So number three, what don't. Don't uh, 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 make people scared. 
Okay. Number four is, and this is very important. Number four is it. ألا يهزل في موضع الجد ولا يضحك في موضع يستجاب فيه البكاء. He said, don't take, make fun, or turn a situation that is serious into a situation that is fun, and don't turn a situation that is fun into a situation that is serious. And here we're talking about as, as long as we are, يعني following the parameters. يعني again. Here, like for instance, when someone praying and you, and then you're trying to make make a joke out of that, that's not acceptable. This is it's, it's a situation of serious. When your father and and your mother is instructing you, it's a serious situation. In a jum'ah khutbah, it's a serious situation. When someone advising you, it's a serious situation. So when the situation is serious, don't turn it into a joke. And vice versa, when someone is trying to يعني, make someone يعني, uh, uh, laugh, you know, and, and make someone smile. In, in, in an appropriate way, don't say I'm I'm I'm, I'm no I'm not I'm going to be upset. No, no, like, take it. Yeah, be 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 dip, dip, diplomatic about it. Be, you know, try to 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 work it out and accept. It. So th these these my dear people is ex extremely important. Yeah, um, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Afa min hadha al-hadith ta'jabun wa tadhakoon wa la tabkoon wa antum samiru." Yeah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Yeah, you know, is is ever you guys are even laughing about these situations?" My dear respect for the sisters, yani, the issue that we are living in right now, yani, subhanAllah, we live in, in, in a time that it's, wallahi, it makes it less likely for someone to laugh a lot. Yani, imagine, imagine this, this scenario. Imagine this scenario. If, some, if you are, for instance, being chased by a lion, if you are being chased by a lion, and then you stop and then you give high, high five, or you joke about the lion. It's not. I mean, this is not the time. This is the time to run and 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 try to save your life. And it's not it's not the time for you to to make fun and 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 stop and 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 make a joke. It's not. The, and the situation we live right now is is the, the Muslims and the whole world is living so, through 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 so many dramas and so there's so many calamities. People are dying for all sorts of reasons. And then you turn everything into a joke, and 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 uh, the only thing you watch in TV is 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 fun shows and etc. There have to be some sort of aspect of seriousness. You know, I I, I have Subhanallah, my dearest my brothers, I have some relatives, I have some people that that, that are closer to me. The, the only thing they do in their life is what watch movies. Yeah, and after that, okay, I'm not I'm not against someone watching, you know, good informative mo movies that maybe you, you would benefit from. But yeah, everything that you watch, everything that you do is movies, 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 game, 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 game. What, what, okay, what's after that? What you have done to yourself? What you have done to your ummah? What you have done to your hereafter? Yeah, what, what does it take for you to wake up and, and take this life as a serious matter? So my dear respect, this is very important. In which that we have to take 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 it take, take this as a serious man. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put us in this earth for what? For a reason. Yeah, he live, yeah, he live up to that reason. And etc. So this is something that we need to think about. Last but not least, my dearest brothers and sisters, and this is something simple. Is is when someone eat the haram. When someone eat the haram and his his you know, whether, no matter what kind of haram it is, you know, whether it was you know, money haram from interest, money haram from selling haram, money haram from stealing from other people, money haram from 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 uh, uh, lying and cheating, money haram from sell, sell, selling alcohol and wine and 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 khanzir, money money haram by 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 trying to 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 lie at other people and take their money and sell them a fake product. It doesn't work. Wallahi, it doesn't work. And, and and why is that? Because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said yeah, in, 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 in the authentic hadith that a man in the middle of the desert and he said, Ya Rabbi, Ya Rabbi. You know, Allah, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta-A'la said, How yeah, Allah Subh'anaHu Wa is going to answer his dua? وَمَا أَكَلْهُ حَرَامُ وَمَشْرَبُهُ حَرَامُ yani, that, that his dress is, is made out of, from haram money and what he will eat is eat from, from haram, haram money. How Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta-A'la is... is and if you cut if you cut that connection, that spiritual connection between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah, imagine if someone, yeah, I, I can't even imagine it. Imagine if someone have cut the spiritual connection between him and Allah. Yeah. I mean, what a life that could be. What a life that could be. 
you got the only hope of 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 sustenance between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have no every time you will hand to Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would reject it. Why? Because you eat from haram. You have the, the money that you, you, you gain is from haram. So my dear respect, please, this is something here is very important issues that we need we need to think about. This is this is your heart. This is your spiritual heart. This is how 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 you you're gonna listen to an advice. This is how your heart is gonna be connected to what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. This is how your heart is going to be affected by the Quran. This is how your heart when you're gonna enjoy prayer. This is how your heart you're going to have be happy and don't be anxious and don't be depressed. This is this is this is what this is this is what means a lot. So again, I'm gonna go through them very quickly. Bismillah Taala. So again, when someone eats too much, when someone drinks too much, you know, when, when, when someone eats too much, when someone sleeps too much, okay, when someone talks too much, okay, when someone talks too much, when someone mixes with people too much, you have too many friends, okay, when someone um, uh, violate his oath with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when someone listens to the to the, to to, 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 to the teachings and he advises people the opposite, he and he advises the people and he does the opposite, you know. When someone um, uh, when someone have too many sins, okay. When have someone have too, too too many sins, and when someone, my dear respect brothers and sisters, uh, um, laughs a lot. When someone laughs a lot, and lastly number nine, when someone eat haram money. So with this this is being said, inshallah, I hope all of us would uh, would be would benefit from this. My, I beg you, please, my dear respect brothers and sisters, that you would share and like this. You know, the, you, know you never know who could be guided because of this. Wallahi, wallahi, you don't know who, who could be guided because of this. So please uh, share this, like this video. May Allah bless all of you. Zakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.